Uh, you might remember that. He was at Pebble Beach. He put up a score of minus 12 at the U.S. Open, where you're not supposed to be minus anything. He's hot as a phenomenon. He's halfway down in his downswing. And he's describing back then, when he wasn't just winning, this is when he was running away with them. He's halfway down in his downswing, describing what his arms feel like, halfway down in his downswing. Would you do me a favor, sir? Would you read that nice and loud so everybody hears it? So sound off. My arms feel like they're uh, falling. I'm loading up for a big hit. So halfway down in the downswing, he's telling us that his arms feel like they're just falling. This was with his old swing. Remember the one that didn't work? Yeah. The one all the golf experts had to get in there and fix. Maybe they should have just left him alone. Huh? My students do this exercise once or twice before we pick up the club to practice. If we do not do the exercise first before practice, the practice is a waste. If we do not rehearse free foot, we will rehearse something else. You with me? There's only one little detail nobody in this room today can avoid. We cannot avoid learning something even when it's wrong. Does everybody get that? Okay. See this thing right here? There's no off button. <laughs> Before we pick up a golf club to practice, we're going to remove all the tension from the upper back, neck, and shoulders. Now hang on, you'll join me in a minute. We roll the shoulders back, and then slowly we're going to raise the arms and hands until the hands reach about ear level. When the hands reach ear level, I'm going to then shout at you, ready, fall. And from the top, we will let the arms free fall in massive what? Relaxation. Turn sideways so you don't hit your neighbor. Okay, everybody, roll the shoulders back. Slowly, let's go to the top. Let's go. Well, so much for slow. <laughs> Soften your wrists and fingers. Would you? Ready? Fall. All right, I tricked you. I was telling you verbally we're going to raise the arm slowly, right? But I demonstrated it three times like this. And guess what you did? You copied what you were looking at, not what I was telling you. <laughs> Slowly, let's go to the top. Soften your wrists and fingers. Soften. Ready? Fall. How many golf balls have we ever hit? Well, that's how our arms felt in the downswing. <laughs> Do you know why we don't feel that? Because here in the villages, we're violent. <laughs> Is anybody here familiar with a place called Camelback? Anybody know that yes. place? Okay. Yeah, Scottsdale. No, it's, oh. that's for skiing. Oh, no. This is golf. <laughs> Scottsdale, Arizona. There's another Camelback in the Poconos. They ski. So we're here for golf. Scottsdale, Arizona is Camelback golf place. Big golf place. You know. It was January 1997. My first day with a group. Scared to death. About 100 people showed up. Fella came into class, sits right in the front where you're sitting, sir, right in here with his hat and glasses on, and I didn't recognize him. We're doing this exercise. And out of about 100 people, I decided I'd go pick on the guy I don't recognize. I asked him, okay, mister, how many balls have you ever hit in your life where your arms felt nice and easy like that in your downswing? And guess what came out of his mouth? All of them. All of them? He said, well, just about all of them, Steve. And then I looked at the man closer. Oh, no, why are you here? He said, well, I'll tell you later why I came, but I'm glad I did. I asked him, would you help me? <laughs> sure, I'll help you. What do you want me to do? I said, well, if you wouldn't mind, would you share with everybody what kind of scores you shoot? Who can relate this relaxed feeling to the downswing? He said, well, you know, everybody, right now my handicap is plus three. Does anybody here know what a plus three handicap shoots? What kind of scores? Plus three handicaps. Oh, no, not 75. Yeah, backwards. If he was a minus three handicap, minus three, he'd shoot 75. Plus three handicap shoots high 60s. Yeah. Under par by three. That fellow that year does 20 events on the senior golf tour. I can't give his name out ever because if I did, what would I have to do every week? <laughs> he and I chatted that day for a few minutes when class was done. He patted me on the head. He looked me in the eye and he said, Steve, I've never seen or heard of you before in my life, but never stop doing this. You're going to help a lot of people. 
we don't know how to help them. We know how to play. We don't know how to help them. I said, I'm going to try. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, everything you did was spot on outstanding. But you know this little exercise? That alone was worth 10000 bucks to me. I said, no, this doesn't mean anything to you. You already do it. Wait a minute. I was about to be handed a gem. Most of my students are retired. When we age, do we lose athleticism in the legs when we age? We don't run as fast, jump as high, or hit a golf ball as far. Aging does not have to ruin a golf game, but it might. If our swing habits are poor when we're young, and we start to lose some distance, you with me? I bet these upper body right side muscles get more active as we age. Okay? There's a couple of things very tricky about your sport. What's your first name, sir? Scott. Scott, can I get you to help me for a second? Just if you would face everybody this way. Scott, would you